now joining me, we have Eric and Jenny, and they are from the Blowing Rock Ale House. Thank you guys so much for being with us today. Absolutely. Right. Thanks for having us. Sure. Now, for any of our viewers like myself who have not actually been to the Blowing Rock Ale House, can you tell us a little bit about it and how it got started? Absolutely. Um, we are located at 152 Sunset Drive, um, just off of Main Street in Blowing Rock. Um, it was started by four partners, um, two of them being the Blowing Rock Ale Brewing uh, creators, and the other two being the owners of the Best Seller, also on Sunset Drive in Blowing Rock. And they have partnered together to create the Blowing Rock Ale House. Fantastic. Now talk with us a little bit about what the environment is like at the Ale House. What can people expect if they come by? Very cozy. Um, it's very um, comfortable and eclectic. Uh, as soon as you walk in, you're greeted by a, a, a waiting room that um, has hand-built uh, booths uh, waiting for you. A very comfortable waiting room. And then as you come into the, the restaurant, uh, we offer a very comfortable seating, a small bar, uh, copper style that uh, kind of brightens it up in there. Um, and then, of course, uh, the beer, you know, everybody goes towards the beer, so that's what it's all about. Absolutely. Well, everything in Blowing Rock is so beautiful and so quaint. We were just talking about that, so it sounds like it fits right in. It does. It's a, it's a, it's a very nice um, um, experience for all the the guests when they come to Blowing Rock. It's something Great unique in to there. The town. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, talk with us a little bit about the menu and some of the things that you guys offer. Um, the menu is created by both Eric and I, and. Um, we make absolutely everything in-house. We are a made-from-scratch kitchen, and uh, we make everything all the way down to ketchups and mustards from scratch. Wow. And um, everything that we possibly can source from local um, purveyors, we definitely do, uh, from the state of North Carolina as much as possible, including uh, seafood coming from the coast and local farmers um, in the area in Asheville and some of the surrounding states as well. Wonderful. Now, everything from scratch. I can barely make popcorn, so that sounds like <laughs> quite a task to me. I need some tips from you guys. It makes for a long day, but it's well worth it to see everybody's smiles on their face at the end of the day. Absolutely. Yeah. Sounds like you guys offer some very unique things that you can't get just anywhere. We do. We uh, A couple of our most popular uh, items that we have on the menu currently is a bison burger. We do a grilled bison burger that has uh, grilled Vidalia onions. We do a charred tomato jam on there, smoked mozzarella and bacon. So it makes for a really nice uh, palate party, if you will. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a really good burger. Unique. Again, uh, we try to do things that other people haven't done before so or do in the area. Uh, we also have a chicken sandwich. It's a buttermilk fried chicken sandwich topped with a jalapeno apple slaw and Ash County cheddar cheese. Wow. Uh, and then a spicy aioli. So, again, just one of those, you know, unique sandwiches that you just can't get anywhere. It may have been a bad idea to do this interview right before lunch. I'm, getting, <laughs> I'm a little hungry hearing about this. Now, is it difficult to put a whole menu together for a restaurant? It takes time. Uh, you know, a, Pairing with beer also, uh, a lot of our ingredients, uh, we try to use as much beer as we can, so that takes time to get with uh, Ray Hodge, who is our brewer, uh, who does an excellent job of creating unique flavors in the beer. Um, so we try to do things um, using the beer um, first, and then we go from there, you know, so we kind of bounce off of ideas uh, from each other. Of course, our journey from the past is, as, has um, inspired us as well different areas so um, yes and no to answer your question <laughs> you know sometimes it's a little stressful but other times it's it's easy to us and some people are like how do you do that kind of thing so and maybe if it was just one of us <clears> doing it, it'd be a lot more difficult but like you said we bounce off of each other's ideas yeah. and all of a sudden we have a menu <laughs> wonderful well talk with us a little bit about your background and how you got involved in this well we're both from Indianapolis Indiana uh, Jenny had expressed interest in going to culinary school. Uh, we both uh, come from uh, a small families where we wanted to be police officer teacher kind of backgrounds. Right. And, uh, we just had a change in heart and so uh, we went for it and we uh, that took us to Austin, Texas where we went to the Cordon Bleu uh, program down in Austin. Uh, enjoyed it so much so seeing her come home with unique knife skills and just being so creative. Uh, I too went to culinary school after that and so once we saw this partnership and, and this, th this connection, we knew it was going to be a good team. And um, moving from there, uh, I was in the military in Alaska and knew that I had to get her back to Alaska. So uh, <laughs> we decided to go to Alaska to work and, and kind of play. 
<clears throat> and then that took us to Vermont, and then Vermont led us to here. So uh, wow. we're very comfortable in the mountains here. Fantastic. Yeah. So I'm guessing there's some good meals at y'all's house. It sounds like you guys both have the kitchen under control. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we <laughs> yes, take we turns. Do. We take turns. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and then how did you end up specifically at the Ale House? Uh, we actually, um, moving here, we met a gentleman in Alaska that says you need to go to Boone, North Carolina and just check it out. It's a very <laughs> unique area, very fun. And so uh, doing some research, we decided to come out here um, and pick up just a server job. We, we both were involved in corporate uh, backgrounds and decided, again, just let's go play for a little while. And so we picked up a server job at the best seller at Ragged Gardens, uh, again on Sunset in Blowing Rock. And... Um, <clears throat> That involved into this transition. Uh, Rob Dyer and Lisa Stripling approached us about uh, being the chefs of the Ale House. Uh, thought it was such a great opportunity. Again, it's such a unique uh, uh, opportunity, a restaurant in Blowing Rock that Blowing Rock doesn't offer. And so uh, we jumped on board very quickly. Well, it sounds like a wonderful place to come and eat and have some beer. Talk with us a little bit about some of the beer that you offer. Um, well, we, uh, we have 12 different beers on tap that Ray brews in the back of the property um, and we have everything ranging from a pilsner to a wheat to a double IPA. Which um, is my favorite. Double IPA is both of our favorites. <laughs> That's the um, one you have to try. Yes. yes. And uh, then he also does a great job with some kind of German style beers and darker beers as well. Um, we have a chocolate porter, uh, figs and spices, Bel Belgian figs and spices and new things coming out of there all the time. It's really hard to pick. Uh, what's great about it is we offer a flight. So mm -hmm. when you go in and you can't make up your mind, you can get a, a sampler of, of three or six uh, of the different beers. So it uh, makes for a good uh, opportunity to taste all the beers. Absolutely. And I think Ray was actually on our show, maybe last week it was, and brought in some of the different beers and was telling us all about it. It sounds like a lot of great options both to eat and drink at the end. Absolutely. Absolutely. It sure is. We have a lot of... Uh, a lot of different types types of uh, food and appetizers to pair well with the craft beer. Wonderful. Now, what are your hours? Uh, we're open currently uh, in the winter time from 11 in the morning until 8:30 at night. Um, that range is giving the amount of business that we do. Obviously, very slow in the winter time. Right. Uh, but that is our hours, and then uh, summertime we're open until um, 10 o'clock. Yes, and we're closed on Tuesday and Wednesdays through the winter. Fantastic. So you guys offer lunch and dinner. We do. Lunch and dinner. We it's do. the same menu served all day. Uh, we're very heavy on appetizers and we have a few salads that we offer as well and then the rest are sandwiches. Um, every day we do have uh, blackboard features um, in which we serve a special side with all of our entrees. You have a choice of a house-made soup, a special side, or our hand-cut french fries and then we'll have a special sandwich or entree of the day as well and, and our soups of the day. Awesome. Now, do you guys have a favorite thing on the menu? Oh, uh, that's hard. <laughs> um, oddly enough, and I'm nowhere near vegetarian, the vegetarian sandwich is, is one of those that you just can't get anywhere. It's a, it's a beer battered eggplant that we do on a rosemary focaccia uh, with crumbled feta and pickled house vegetables uh, and then a red chili pesto and then we press wow. it and let that all melt together. And so that with the beer, um, it's not too heavy. It's a very light sandwich. Uh, that's my go-to, I think. Our grilled flatbread, I think, is one of my favorites as well. We actually make that with the uh, Blowing Rock High Country Ale in the dough. Wow. Um, so that you get a little bit of that beer flavor in the crust. Right. And then uh, top it with a fresh pesto and wild mushrooms, smoked mozzarella, and uh, grilled Vidalia onions. So. It's a, we also uh, finish it with a porter balsamic, which again is made with our chocolate porter. <clears throat> well, now that my mouth is watering, that sounds <laughs> absolutely incredible. It sounds like a great place for you to stop by for lunch or for dinner. And thank you guys so much for coming in to talk with us about it. We really absolutely. appreciate thank having, you for having us. Thank of you course. Definitely. And we will be back right after these messages with more of the Mountain Television Network.